Another big crypto exchange hacked today with South Korea-based Bitthumb, the sixth largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, announcing that over $30 million worth of cryptos had been stolen. But our crypto baller here, Brian Kelly, says things are different for Bitcoin this time around. He's over at the Plasma to break it down. Hey, Beeks. Hey, so it's kind of interesting what happened here. We've had quite a few hacks this year. It highlights the fact that these exchanges are still kind of the weak point here. And also, if you have your coins, to the best of the extent that you can, try not to hold them on exchanges for any period of time. Cold storage is always best. But let's look at what happened. We had a rebound in Bitcoin. And why did that happen? Well, a couple things that I noticed today. Number one, as soon as this happened, the exchange acted quickly. The news was out. They, they halted withdrawals. And they put everything into cold storage. Number two, they immediately said, you know what? Any of the losses, we have reserves. We are going to pay for them. Nobody loses money. And then number three, we're in a period of time here where the sellers in Bitcoin are somewhat exhausted. We've had a mini, I mean, a mini, mini uptrend. And I might be grasping at straws. We've had a mini uptrend. So let's look at what happened. So this is coming, bringing, bringing back coming out old school tape reading here. But look at what happened here. And I'm always looking for something different. January 27, coin check hack. Look what happened here. All of a sudden, we had this huge drop after that. We come here, this was June 11th, coin rail hack. We still had a little bit of a drop there, but today we went up. So the old school trader in me says, you know what? Bad news, good price action. That's the first step in getting a bull market. All right, Beeks, um, why don't you come over to the desk? Oh, We're going to sure. bring in now the founder of one of the world's biggest cryptos to weigh in on all this. Charlie Lee is the founder of Litecoin, and he joins us now on the phone. Charlie, welcome to Fast Money. Great to have you on. Hi, Melissa. Thanks for having me. What's your take on, on what uh, the price action has been in cryptocurrencies, maybe Bitcoin specifically, and, and, and whether uh, traders have become inured to the news of, of all these hacks? Well, whenever there's an exchange hack, people get scared and uh, the price drops. It happens all the time. But the thing is, it doesn't really change the fundamentals of Bitcoin, like when other cryptocurrencies, because it's like if a bank gets uh, broken in and gold gets stolen, does that mean, does that affect the price of gold? It shouldn't. So same with Bitcoin. If the exchange doesn't protect their coins well enough and it gets hacked, it doesn't really change the fundamentals of the coin that they're protecting. You know, it's interesting because somebody else raised that exact same parallel in terms of if, if a bank got broken into and money got, got stolen. But um, when it comes to a hack for cryptocurrencies, it really underscores the notion that perhaps not all of these systems, the infrastructures built around cryptocurrencies have been secured because we're dealing with, secu with a security issue on exchanges, right? I mean, blockchain is incorruptible, but the security around these is exchanges, it's not infallible. So... I mean, don't we need to see s big strides in terms of the progress of the securities of these exchanges to really overcome that particular fear? We do. And we're kind of very early in, in crypto kind of time frame. So right now, I mean, exchanges are learning to better protect their customers' funds. I think we're getting better and better at it, but we still have a lot to improve. And um, this is kind of like a paradigm shift for, for personal finances. With Bitcoin and Litecoin, you have control of your own finances. So you're responsible if, of your own money. And if you put your coins in exchange, then uh, you have to trust the exchange to kind of uh, hold your money and protect it for you. So it's kind of a kind of a mental shift, and people just have to get used to that. They really need to protect their coins um, much more, uh, much better than traditional finances. Hey, Charlie, it's BK. Good, good to hear from you. Uh, I'm, I'm curious what hey, you think. We, we're all out there looking for what the catalyst is going to be for Bitcoin, for Litecoin, for these cryptocurrencies. What are you most excited about in the ecosystem right now? What I'm most excited about is, is Lightning Networks, right? Technically, Bitcoin has gotten stronger and stronger over, over the past few years. SegWit has activated. We're, p developers are working hard on getting Lightning Network, which is a second layer solution for payments um, working on Bitcoin and Litecoin. And that's been going on really well. But the price has dropped like 60, 70% over the past year. The price seems kind of um, disjointed from the actual um, development of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And I think that happens and that's fine. But over, over time, the price will, will adjust. I believe we're kind of in the bear market right now, but I have faith that the price will, will rebound and come back up fairly soon, actually.
you know, folks like you, Charlie, folks like BK, you guys got in on it early. And so you can hold all this and you're fine. A lot of other retail investors who watch this program got into it a little bit later. Their cost basis was higher and they're sort of feeling the pain and wondering where does this thing go at this point? You say we could be in a bear market. How long do you think this bear market could last even with all of these technological advances to the system, to the network? Um, it's really hard to say. I've, I've been in this space for seven, eight years now and I've seen bear markets last three to four years. And so um, this one could be a three to four year bear market or it could recover tomorrow. So that's why the, the market has been so fickle lately because people just don't know if, if we've hit the bottom already or is this just another long like two, three year bear market. So whenever there's some bad news like an exchange hack, the prices drop like 5%. 5% is a lot in the stock market world, but it's like nothing in, in crystal space. And today, just today, the reason why the price rebound is because there was a report of a third-party um, audit of Tether's mm -hmm. uh, finances, and they, they claim that they have the U.S. dollar backing the customer deposits. So the past like few years, people have been scared that uh, Tether has been printing um, their Tether coins out of thin air and right. buying Bitcoin with it, which, which might be the cause of the last year's run-up. Hmm. And if they actually do have the USD backing, then that means that um, the run-up is created by real demand and not fake demand. Right. So that's really good news. So that's why the, the price rebounded. All right, Charlie, um, thank you so much for phoning and We really do appreciate it. Um, Bitcoin bear market for a few years or maybe a recovery even tomorrow. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a hard framework in which it to is. trade. And, and here's the thing. We don't have a lot of price history. The last time that we had a major kind of bear market that it feels like we are now was 2014. And that really took almost three years to get us back up. So that's what everybody's looking back at and saying. I think, you know, I'm a little, I'm incrementally more bullish than I was two or three weeks ago. We've had the SEC come out and clarify some of the regulations. Uh, this Tether audit is actually really good for sentiment. We've seen some creations there. Um, and there's an awful lot going on in Asia. So you're starting to see a change. It's painful. Uh, but I think, you know, around six grand seems to be pretty decent support. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.